Question number four says, question four says, a uniform 33.5 kilogram beam of length 4.95 meters is supported by a vertical rope located uh, 1.2 meters from its left end, as in the figure below. The right end of the beam is supported by a vertical column. A. Find the tension in the rope. B. Find the force that the column exerts on the right end of the beam. So, what it's looking for is this, this uh, it's saying that this um, length right here is 4.95, so we're going to 4.95 meters, and the distance here, the distance there is 1.2 meters, and so w we want to know, since this bar is 33, 33.5 33 kilograms, What's the tension on the rope, and what's the force on the column of the wall? So here's what we got to do. We know that the, the sum of the forces, so the sum of the forces has to equal mass times acceleration. It has to equal 33.5 times 9.8. So let's just go ahead and write down what we know. The sum of the forces, the sum of the forces equals 33.5 times 9.8, which equals 328.3 newtons. That's the sum of the forces. Now, the sum. So, let's call the the tension in the rope force one. So, force one. Has force one plus force two has to equal 328.3 newtons. Okay. The other thing is that the ratio of and we'll call this so the sum of the, the ratio of of force one over over the sum of the forces is equal to the tension. So if we call this our these are two axes, so the 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 torque in this axis, so the, we'll call this we'll call this axis torque two, or what we'll call it torque one. Let's call it torque one. We'll call this one torque two, and so this one is is force one, and this one is force two. So gravity pushing down, tension pulling up. Those are the two forces: force one, force two, torque one, and torque two. So Torque one means the pressure that it's that uh, gives it rotational motion that way, and torque two is that go, that would give it rotational motion that way. Okay, so the the ratio of the force one to the sum of the forces is equal to the ratio of of the sum of the torques um, to torque two. Why did I say torque two? Well, you said torque two is this. That's right, but torque two is the movement going this way, so it's it's pushing down on this, and so we got to use torque two for our ratio, and so we can simply uh, figure out what the torques are, and set up a ratio to find out what the forces are. Now, as an aside, I have to say that I um, I did not find this equation anywhere. It's not in the book, or if it is in the book, I don't know because I haven't finished reading the chapter. Um, I've read about halfway through, but I just, uh, after studying the picture for about 30 minutes, this is what I came up with, and voila, it worked. So this is what I'm using. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we have to figure out the torque. So the torque, um, it, it, we have to find the center mass. So center mass right here is half of 4.95. So we're going to label our center mass. We'll, we'll call it CM. CM equals, so equals, let me just clear that. CM equals 4.95 over 2, which equals 2.475 meters. So the center mass is at 2.475 meters. So we're, we're going to label this 2.475. We know that this is this is 1.2. So what is what is this right here? This is going to be our our radius for our torque one. 
So we got to do 2.475, which is this distance, uh, minus 1.2 so that we can find this distance. So radius 1 is going to equal 2.475 minus 1.2 it equals 1.275 meters. And so we can take the whole mass, the mass of the whole thing, exerting down on this portion, because we talk about center mass, it's as if the mass of the entire object were exerting down on that one part. So the entire 33.5 kilograms right down there so and then and then we so we can say that the mass the 33.5 kilograms times the acceleration 9.8 meters per second squared times the r value 1.275 this equals this equals t1 so t1 is equal to 417 0.33 newton meters. And then we got to do the same thing for T2, only T2 has a different R value, everything else is the same. The R value, so from, from here to here, remember it's 2.475, so the R value is going to be 2.475. So we can say that T2 equals, uh, equals the 33.5 kilograms times 9.8 times the 2, the, the 2.475 meters, which equals 812.54 newton meters. So now I've got to do the sum of the torques. So the sum of the torques is 812 plus 417. Remember my ratio, the sum of the the T2 over the sum of the torques equals F1 over the sum of the forces. So the, the 812 plus 417, so I'm going to say sum of the torques is equal to, is equal to 812.54 newton meters plus, plus 417.33 33 newton meters, so that equals the sum of the torques equals 1229.8755 newton meters. And so the sum of these torques over torque 1, and remember we said torque 1 is 417.33, so 417.33 over 1229.88 equals, and remember we said that the sum of the forces had to equal had to equal the mass times the times uh, gravity. So the sum of the forces had to equal that, which we said was was 328.3. So 328.3, um, and so this has to equal force one. Actually, no, take that back. This has to equal force two because this is this is torque one. Okay, so. Our equation is, is you can say torque one over the sum of torques is equal to uh, force two over sum of forces, or we could say torque two over sum of the torques is equal to F one over sum of the forces. And so we got to solve this one for F one. We just multiply 328.3 to both sides. So we got 417. I'm going to plug this in my calculator, 417.33 divided by 1229.88. It gives me 0.339. I times that by 328.3. It gives me uh, F2 equals 111.4 uh, newton meters. Or, I'm sorry, newtons. It's in, that's in newtons, not newton meters. And so F1 has to equal, so we said that, that the total force is 328.3, so F1 plus F2 equals 328.3, so I can subtract my F2 value from, from both sides, and I'll get F1 equals, my F1 value is equal to 216.899, and so, uh, and that's in newtons, and so 
this is the tension on the rope. Uh, this this is the yeah this is the tension on the rope is 216 newtons. This is the force on the wall. So this is the force on the wall is 111.4 newtons. Again, the equation I used, it worked. It worked. I do not know if there's a better way to do that. And when I finish reading the chapter, if I find a better way, I will post another video explaining uh, the faster way.